This is a video uh, that just describes the principle of battery pair switching. It's something that was invented by Carlos Benitez and it's been promoted by Rick Friedrich. Uh, the principle is that you have two pairs of batteries in, ser in series. Let's say if they're 12 volts, then in series they would be in at 24 volts in parallel they would be at 12 volts. And the principle is that you could use the difference, the discharge from one battery to the other as a source of uh, power to drive a load. Um, this is kind of like a in, a, in a water analogy, if you had four gallons of water, two of those gallons were stacked too high and the other two were just on the ground. The, gallons that were stacked too high could flow into the other two and that flow would generate the energy and if the two gallons that were on the ground were empty that flow would not be uh would that the source of the energy wouldn't be lost you could restack those and do it all over again uh and that's where the water analogy uh, breaks with electricity because when you uh, switch from parallel to series in uh, an electrical system there is no potential of gravitational potential you have to overcome like when you're moving trying to restack water so uh, you, you basically you go in from high voltage to low voltage and you switch that around you go from high voltage to low voltage the battery on the low voltage side could receive um, the energy from the high voltage side so that's that's the principle um, and then you uh, collect the, the overflow current while you're driving a load now the, the hard part about doing something like this is that there are a few different gravitational states there, oh, I'm sorry, voltage states. There's the resting voltage. So let's see, I'm going to connect this. Resting voltage is the, the value of the battery voltage, the charge, when it's not doing anything. So when it's just sitting around, what will the charge be? And then there's um, under load. So, which is going to be lower than the resting state, the voltage at least, is going to be lower than the resting state. And then you have recovery. So after the load is removed, the, the battery voltage will raise back to the level of the resting state. Uh, since it's had a load, then that resting state will be a little bit uh, lower than before. And then there's a charging, so the, the the voltage would rise incrementally as the battery is being charged. And then after you stop charging, there's a recovery period again where it goes back down to whatever the resting voltage will be. So that makes measuring this kind of stuff uh, a little tricky, but we're going to give it a try. Uh, the circuit I have it just uses relays to switch these battery pairs from parallel to series and from series to parallel. Um, to run that relay, I have a uh, a non-latching relay, which was a mistake, uh, with the, because it needs energy to maintain that latched state or that, that connected state. So I have this power source uh, running the relays. And if I had something that was latching, then I wouldn't need a, a separate power source for that or something that's a constant power source. Um, because it would latch and it would just stay there and I wouldn't need to maintain it. Uh, so here we have a, I made this little box that has the circuit in it. Uh, it has the pack one voltage right now. It's 25.5. That's two 12 volt batteries pack two voltage. That is, uh, 12.7, which is these two batteries, batteries three and four. And then this switch switches them from. Uh, pack one being the primary or the higher voltage to pack two being the primary. So here I'm switching from series to parallel for pack one. So now pack one is 12.7, pack two is 
turn that switch that back all right and then this turn this button right here turns the circuit on so that I can apply it to a load so um, one last thing is that when I perform that switch it's hooked up to um, these two packs are in parallel and they are hooked up to a bridge rectifier so when you switch from series to parallel you have a um, you know a, a reversal of polarity and we need to keep that constant in order to drive that load so for that there's the full bridge rectifier so the load I have is a, a DC pulse motor that I used in a, in a previous video uh, it uses bifilar coils it has a trigger coil to uh, as a, a way to uh, switch on the, the current. Uh, it uses, a, uses its own back EMF on two of the coil pairs. It has a, three coil pairs. Two of those coil pairs are drive or primary drive circuits or drive, primary drive coils. And then the back EMF of those feeds the, the third uh, pair of coil coils. It's air core. Um, so let's uh, get this started. So again, I'm not going to come up with any conclusions. Uh, this is just a demonstration of what actually happens. Uh, so let's see. So let's turn this on. So now that is live. PWM is high enough. And we'll turn the motor on using this switch right here. And then this is a self-starting uh, switch. So let's see if we can get it to go. Uh, sometimes it'll, it works better than other times. So let's try it again. Oh, power. And there we go. So now the motor is running. And the motor is running off of the difference between pack 1 voltage and pack 2 voltage. You'll see pack 2 uh, charging and pack 1 discharging. So it's, it'll go down from 24.7 and pack 2 will go up from 13. Of course pack 2 is a 12 volt battery so there's no place for the charge to go. We're not really charging, I mean we're charging the battery but the charge isn't going to be able to do much. So basically we're just discharging pack one um, without really getting the benefit. Ideally, you would have some room on these two to fill those up while pack one is discharging. At least that's the, the Carlos Benitez uh, philosophy. So that's the motor running. So let's uh, turn the motor up. Watch the voltage. So you see the charge. So it's because pack one is discharging and pack two is charging, the voltage difference is uh, shrinking. So I'm gonna switch them so now pack two is driving and pack two is in series and pack one is in parallel. And you'll hear the motor speed up a little bit because the voltage difference is now greater again. So now pack two is charging pack one and the voltage difference is again shrinking. So pack two is at 23.6 now and it'll keep going down. Pack one is at 13.7 and we'll keep going up. And as that difference shrinks, you'll hear the motor slow down. And that was me. So that's me adjusting the PWM. So let's switch back. go so each time I switch either pack one or pack two will become the drive battery pack and the other one will become the charging pack
Now, the, the thing I wasn't a big fan of with this Carlos Benitez setup was that you, I mean, basically you got four batteries running this little bit bitty motor. And so, um, you know, that's kind of overkill. Uh, although if it was free energy and we could keep maintain the charge on both of those battery packs, that would be kind of cool. Again, I'm, I'm not going to be able to come up with something conclusive because it's going to take a while to discharge. I did try doing the same thing with 9-volt uh, batteries. So I had four... 9 volt batteries connected uh, but they were alkaline so I, I really couldn't tell to be honest so that's me slowing down the motor I'm trying to alright well that's about it for this just a demonstration of battery switching and what happens as you switch from primary to secondary Now, one thing that's interesting about this is that um, I, after thinking about it, I realized that all you need is two batteries with uh, one battery going through a, some kind of voltage regulator or uh, a boost converter or something that'll uh, change the 12 volt output to 24 volt output. And then you can put that output in series with a similar battery and then do the exact same thing and then just switch between one battery using the uh, voltage regulator and this and the sec or the the boost bug boost converter or whatever and then uh you know just swapping those back and forth then you can just do it with two batteries um so that might be for later There you go, battery switching. Right, hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.